Hey guys, Malfunction here. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing um, The Warden, Ouroboros, the first uh, volume of the series. The second one is called um, Evil Rising. And I love this book. It's written by um, William Garrett um, and Christian Gossett from Red Star fame. Um, if you haven't read that, it's worthwhile reading. Amazing work. And I think it's through Image or Dark Horse. I'll have to check that out later. But hey, that's what Google's for. You guys can try that. Um, also, the um, the colouring is by... The artwork is by Alan Robinson, I should say. Uh, Colours by Christian Gonzalez. A lettering by Jared Anderson. Published by William Garrett. Cover art by Paul Tobin. And executive producers uh, William Garrett and Christian Gossett. Now this came out in 2014, so it's not that old. Uh, it's very, yeah, very new. Um, I guess the next one is out. It came out later. I I wasn't. Um, I I remember picking this up when it first came out, um, and so I have actually the first volume. Uh, sorry, the first issue of what could, I think looks like a six six issue comic or a four issue comic, uh, collected as a graphic novel. Um, I enjoyed it. I read it last week. Um, and I, um, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very original. I was uh, very taken aback by the premise. Now the premise, according to them, is very different and very spoilery, spoilery uh, as part of their, um, um, the booklet they put out. And that, that kind of like, I'm so glad I didn't read that because it spoiled the whole thing. Which is kind of sad because this is a really good book. But I didn't read it, and I didn't read the first issue. So four years later, I pick, I get sent these graphic novels as part of our, our malfunction um, geek out show on Beagle Radio here in New Zealand. On so you can see, um, put the links below. Um, so what? So I was quite excited when I got these because I was like, whoa, I've always wanted to read them, but I haven't had a chance, and plus don't have the money to buy them. And so having these being sent to me, and you know. After just talking with William about you know getting passes to this to Armageddon to talk to his labs, I get this and I'm so excited. So anyway, I read it because I remember seeing it. So and it is original and I am, you know, I want to be really um, clear about this before I go. In. I do produce my own comics. I uh, have and I do my own things. Uh, I um, also get them published, and also. You know, we'll be getting some of the other ones being published as well. And I also have my own comic studio called Plunge Studios. So I don't come out as, as a kind of like out of that sort of thing for when I do reviews of comic books. I've been reviewing comics books for a few years now, almost about four and a half, five years. I used to own my own comic shop, so I own my, I'm opening that up again. I own my own studio. I'm going to be doing an own indie comic convention here in New Zealand in Whangarei next year. So... I want to be upfront that yes, I do produce comics, so I don't come at this from a critical. Let's put down somebody else's work. I come at it because of I love comics. I've loved comics since I was seven years old, right? That's like around about ooh thirty eight odd years, um, something like that. And so I've been in love with comics ever since I was able to read um, Donald Duck and Goofy, and then I moved on to two thousand eighty. So please keep that in mind that I do not have a critical view of people just to put them down off their books. Because, as you can see, I have a lot of books, and I collect, and I collect, and I collect, and I read, and I sell, and I collect as well. So I'm, I read all sorts of comics. So when I read this, I was quite taken aback by the premise. When I read through it, I was like, whoa, did not expect that. Um, is that what's happening? Is that supposed to happen? This is what's going on? This is pretty crazy. So here's here's what I'll, what I'll you know, I've written the whole bunch of notes, so I'll go through that. So the premise... According to me, right, not to the booklet, a family of supervillains led by Dr. Merciless is killing every civilian and superhero in his path to get to the greatest superhero of them all, the Warden, the title character. The Warden killed, and the reason for this is because the Warden killed the Doctor's father. And so he wants payback and revenge, and he's not stopping at anything until he gets it. And so this is a very graphic, very full-on um, comic book. Okay, so what, um, the pro and that's what I love about it. It's very in your face, very open, uh, very honest in what it's doing. It's straight up front, right from the start. 
you know it's a mature reader's comic book as soon as you start reading it. That's the prose, right? That's the awesome thing about this book, and I love it, and I think it's just amazing. Um, so there's blood and gore, uh, there's um, blanked out swearing throughout, and I think some of the times you didn't need to do that, or you could have just used asterisks, but I, I like that, I love that, I think it was really cool. Um, the other thing, the cons of it, no rating. So I'm, I'm looking all over the place because, you know, this is a superhero comic, right? And so I'm looking everywhere and I'm thinking, is there is there like a warning? Is there like a mature reader? Because for me, as a writer and, you know, like I said, uh, and seller of comics, um, and having people walk into the shop and having to explain to them what is for kids, what isn't for kids, this is a real um, a tough thing because if there's nothing on there and a parent picks it up, reading, you know, the warden is the world's greatest superhero, powerful and compassionate, respected and revered, here's the Midas, all its defenders, you know, and so you go, okay, you can take that home, they get home and they go, whoa, I got heads blowing up, exploding, bullets getting shot through bodies, blood and gore, uh, you know, I've got people tearing people apart, uh, I've got naked butts, all right, I, got, I mean, like, I don't mean leotard things, I mean, like, bare butts on young characters, and so that for me was a con, right? Like I said, opposite of that, that's a pro. But without the rating, it's a con uh, for me. So it's sort of kind of, it's fine for me. I'm happy with it. I think it's great for my age group, 18 and over or 15 and over. Because, hey, that's where it's, you know, that's the, that's, that's the basically for the warden. That is the audience for me as far as I'm concerned. And so... As a, you know, it'll be good. I'm not sure if the, uh, no, there is nothing on the cover of the first volume. So either about the rating. Um, so, and not on the graphic novel either. So, yeah. And I thought that really needed that. And so, but it's a great story. So if you're over the age of 15, go for it, I say. It's a really good story. Very original. And I'm really, you know, very excited about the story I read. And I love the originality of it because in this in this um, in this age of rebirths, all new, all different uh, crossovers, and just rehashed and remakes of movies and reboots of movies, and you know regurgitation of the whole genre over and over again, and that specific element or that specific superhero series, um, having something small and short like this is such a good um, read because you go. Oh, here we go. There's four issues. Whoa. Enjoyable. Put it aside. Complete story. Um, so I'm looking forward to the next volume. So that's... And, the, and as for the art and stuff, I love that. I thought oh, the art was... Let me see here. I'll get to the art next. But so as for the package deal, um, the actual graphic novels, uh, the pros, nice and glossy, heavy, um, heavy... Pages, um, GSM, I think it is called. Uh, not your average, um, you know, gra graphic novel kind of thickness. I'm um, sorry, thickness, thinness, I should say. This is a quite thicker pages. Very, very cool. Um, and, you know, it's just really good package deal art-wise, um, character-wise, character etc. I'll get you there in a minute. Uh, but the con of, about this is that the full color pages, sorry, as well. The the con. After one read, pages started pulling away from the binding and from the stitching. So, as you can see here, like, if, let me just hold it there. Oh, here we go. This would be probably better. So, as you can see, right there, rather than be flat, all right, it should be straight there. It's actually, as you can see, it's pulled away from the stitching. So, it's like, it should be flat here. And most books, when you get um, see them, they're always flat. So I'm not trying to, I'm trying to, like, I'm actually trying to make sure that they're actually flat. But if I let them go, like, I'm just holding it gently there, as you can see, they're not flat at the top here. So that kind of, oh, you can see it a bit better here on this side, as you can see. So as you can see, it's pulled away from the binding. And there you go. This is only after one read. So it's this is on the printer's thing. It's not actually on the on the book itself. It's on the printer's side of it. And who, um, you know, whoever printed this, hey, you know. And so the book is actually published by Beyond Reality Media here in New Zealand as the company. 
And it's, for me, that's a plus. I mean, I, I promote, I've always been prone to doing local, um, local indie and local companies. And that's because why not? More promotion, the better. More people get to read it. Uh, so for me, the actual rating for this book should be a hard M, mature readers. Um, okay, so the product-wise, all right. So four out of five due to printing, as I said. Story, five out of five. Original premise and, expo and the exposition ex was perfectly timed. So it, it was like a nice real development throughout from A to Z. And you weren't like sort of going, oh, that kind of happened. Oh, well. But you were actually, it was building up so nicely, the stories. Each thing that happened was a surprise, which is really cool. So I guess um, because I didn't read the single volumes, I guess it was like done that as part of the vol each volume. So, but it really, well, really, it was a really good story. I was quite, quite excited by it. I didn't expect it to be that good. Not because I thought, well, you know, it's because it's somebody wrote it or somebody or something like that. It was just like, it's a, another graphic novel that I get, get through, you know, and I thought, oh, I got to review this as well. So that takes it away from it, but it didn't. I found that because even though I was reviewing it, I actually very much enjoyed this book. Um, so that's the story. The art is five out of five. Um, now, lots of varying characters in the series. There's um, aliens, magic, uh, I guess supernatural. Um, there's a whole lot of um, mechanic, you know, biomechanics involved, robots, and all these different. And um, I guess, yeah, I guess al different types of aliens, and just a whole lot of action and color, and sort of, you know, a whole lot of um, things blowing up and you know, people exploding and heads are exploding and all that. Um, and so there's a really good variety of changes between the art and characters. So if you had a sketch of an alien, it, it fit in perfectly with the robot character. So it didn't feel, didn't feel like it was a different world altogether. It was just kind of like, this is part of this universe of the warden um, that fits into. Uh, four out of five for the colors. Um, I did like it. I thought it was really well done. But sometimes it was kind of like, um, kind of a, um, it didn't flow really well from page, um, sort of, I guess, from volume to volume, from issue to issue. In this case, I call it volume one. So, so it would be volume two, three, four, oh, two, three, four. Um, so that was the other thing. And, but um, it fit in well with the otherworldliness of it all. So for me, four out of five. And it's really worthwhile reading this. Um, so that's um, The Warden. Ouroboros, hopefully I pronounced it right. I have a problem with trying to pronounce names right. Uh, so by William Garrett and Christian Gossett from Red, Red Star fame. So as I said, William Garrett, um, guy behind Armageddon Expo here in New Zealand, throughout New Zealand, I should say. And Christian Gossett from Red Star fame, amazing artist. And also the artwork is by Alan Robinson. I do not know much about Alan Robinson, but there you go. Now, these books are going to be coming out through Diamond soon. All right. So, yeah, have a look in Diamond um, magazine, I guess. Previous magazine. Yep. And so it's published by Beyond Reality Media. That's BRM. So there you go. Check them out on Facebook and check them out on Line and check out Armageddon Expo. And if you're in Whangarei this week, um, in October the 1st to the 3rd, Check out Itchy Trigger Finger.